Hey, what, what, what's your what's your thoughts on on what you saw today in the uh, main event? I mean, just looked like he was having you know the guy was awkward. Um, you know, his timing was awkward. It took him a little bit to get that down, but he finally found home for his right hand and it got the job done. Could you could you sense? I mean, he was just feeling them out for the first couple rounds, like you say. But uh, uh, feeling them out, figuring them out, do was awkward. Hard to you know. Hard to, uh, sometimes it's easier to fight someone who's got, who's really fast and, you know, but right on key and right on point than someone who's not near as good, but super awkward. So. How are you feeling now? You're, 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 you got your game face on, your countdown is on for you getting in there answering the bell. Yeah, yeah. Um, feeling great. Camp's going great. Um, I'm looking better and meaner than I was in camp for Jose. So if that lets you know anything. It's going to be good. Hey, Chad, right. obviously you got a big fight coming up against Mike Lee. Um, since you've become champion, has anything changed in your preparation? Uh, any different training? Have you upped anything? Um, or changed in your life since you became champ? Besides you guys standing right here, uh, you know, there's been more recognition, more cameras. But, you know, we've added, we've added things because we're always looking to work harder and harder. But um, I haven't changed. The work ethic hasn't changed. Um, you know, I'm the same old CP that you guys have always seen and known. So, Caleb, is is the knockout mandatory? Or are you leaving the ring with a knockout? I'm leaving. It. Mike Lee's getting knocked out, so this fight's not going 12 rounds. Um, it's going to be a nice knockout. What yeah, round are you predicting that knockout? Uh, I ain't putting a round on it. Um, I never been the type to do that. I never really say that. You know, whether I'm getting a stoppage or not, but this fight is not going the distance. Either he'll bow out before 12 rounds or I'll bow him out. What makes you so confident in that? Tune in July 20th, and you'll see. We've been talking a lot of stuff, and apparently so much so that has this affected you spiritually, the, the kind of stuff that's been coming out of his mouth? Um, you know, people can... He's gonna pay for it. So all the words that he said, I'm gonna put them on a plate and I'm gonna make him eat it. And if people can say, oh, I'm in his head, I'm in his head, that may not be a place you wanna be. So if you check my track record, that's not a place for somebody. So he wouldn't last a minute where I'm from. He wouldn't last a minute doing what I've done. He'd get eaten alive. So I may not even cook him and eat him. I may just eat him while he's still screaming. <laughs> Hey, Ken, speaking of, you know, the things that he's he trying to do to get in your head, you know, he's talking about all that stuff, studying you, he know more about you and all this negative stuff. It sounds like that hasn't affected you and you're moving forward. So as far as your production and your gym and preparation, what have you been doing to ensure that, you know, Mike is really taking Just care Just be of the same old Caleb. Um, every camp I'm getting better. You see me in the Medina fight, uh, someone who's given – um, a lot of people, a lot of trouble. Um, gotten the short end of the stick on some decisions that should have been his. Um, you've seen how I handled that. Then you've seen how I came in after a year layoff to fight Jose. You've seen a much better and improved Caleb Plant from that. And that's off a year layoff. So um, fighting back to back like this after fighting Jose, you guys are going to see even better Caleb. The strength, the boxing ability, the speed, the conditioning, everything is on a new level. So Another thing you said is that, you know, you, you know this is – this is your life, the box. Yes. So you don't want to let it go. And on top of that, you know, you lost your mother and every. I'm not lost your mother, but you had the thing that happened to her. And uh, does that give you more strength to to win? Well, you did. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just. Um, I think it would give anybody fire to keep going. Either going to break, or what does it kill you makes you stronger. And uh, it hasn't broken me, so clearly it's made me stronger. So. Um, you know, I carry that with me. Uh, I carry it into my training. I carry it into my last round, my last mile, whatever it may be. And um, that's something that a lot of people don't have, which is fortunate for them um, because uh, that's a heavy coat to wear. So, but that's something that I have over, I feel like, a lot of people. And uh, I use it to my advantage. So, July 20th, all I can say is tune in. So. How's all this extra attention make you feel? I mean, I just feel like you guys are just catching on to what I've known all along. So um, I've always looked at myself as a world champion. I feel like I've carried myself 
If you look at any of the past interviews long before I became a world champion, I feel like I got the same energy. Nothing's changed. So uh, I'm just glad you guys are finally catching up. That's all. Yes, sir. Of course. Kayla, not looking past your opponent that you might leave. Uh, but if you had to pick one guy in the division right now that you're looking at yep. saying, I want that dude to yep. prove that I'm the best in the division, yep. that I'm the most elite in the division, uh -huh. who is that dude? It would be Mike Lee. That's it. That's it? That's it. That's the one I want. So Tunnel vision. That's it. Now, nothing else matters. Nothing else is none of my concern. I don't know anybody else. I don't want to know about anybody else. Um, what's for me is mine. And right now, this is for me. So. You start counting your chickens before they hatch, and then they wind up not even hatching. So I don't care about what other fights are out there for me because if I don't handle business July 20th, then none of that will come to fruition anyway. So right now, all eyes is on July 20th. Uh, he is not being overlooked. I'm not taking this lightly. I don't think you guys have ever seen me take a fight lightly. I'm taking this serious. As he said, this is my life. This is all I do. And uh, I'm not walking out of that ring without my hand raised. What are some of the threats posed by this Um He's he's a bigger guy. He's coming down in weight. He's undefeated. Um, a guy who's undefeated is looking to stay that way. Someone who's already lost once or twice. Sometimes it's easier for them to succumb to losing again because they've already tasted that. Um, this guy has the old man his record. He's looking to to keep that. He's also looking to become champ of the world, and that's what I've worked my whole life to become. So if he thinks that he can just walk in. Um, after not committing himself to this sport and this culture like I have for my whole life. And uh, he's delusional. Fred, you, I know you got a question. I was about to say, <laughs> how, how do you envision this fight? Well, me getting my hand raised and him laying on the floor. It's all like, like round by round, play by play. I'm just going to go out there and be myself. Um, when you guys see me fight, you've always seen a show, whether it's been flair or speed or explosiveness or, um, you know, entertainment. Um, and uh, like I said, it may be short, it may be midway, it may be on the tail end, but before the final bill, I'm telling you, he's gonna bow out or I'll bow him out. Do you have any predictions for the Darrell of the Venus fight? Do you, how do you see that playing out? Never heard of him, I don't know. <laughs> so they can handle their business, that's none of my concern. They ain't got nothing to do with me. Um, you know, I'll let them figure it out, and then when they want to unify, I'm not easy to get get a hold of. So, uh, what's your take on steroids in boxing? Um, I think it's probably more than you guys know about, and I know about, and I think it's uh, I think that stems from a lack of confidence. I think if you really believe in your skills and believe in who you are and what you can do, why would you need? something to try and enhance that. That's a lack of confidence. And uh, on top of that, that's cheating. And if it's one thing I've been taught, it's to never cheat. I don't feel like I have to cheat. I already feel like I'm the fastest in the division. I feel like I got the fastest hands. I feel like I got the fastest feet. I feel like I got the best defense. I, best, I feel like I got the best ring IQ. And uh, as you've seen over these past couple of fights, my power is going on the rise, up and up and up. And a big part of that is not only Coach Larry Wade, but uh, my hand strength, I was developing a lot of hand injuries, which is having to change my style. If y'all first see me when I first turned pro, I was knocking everybody out cold with big shots and uh, kind of spooled everybody. And then I started developing hand injuries and kind of had to change my style. And I wasn't, I was hurting them early in fights and I didn't really speak about it then because I don't, I just didn't want to be that guy. But um, I feel like I can kind of touch on that now with the fact that everyone sees me, you know, before me, Jose had been dropped by Matt Korobov, somebody who beat Kovalov in the amateurs. So I think for me to do that not once but twice, I think that makes a statement. Uh, your style has like a lot of layers to it, right? It has a lot of flavor. Uh, uh, what's some of the fighters that, that you say, I'm going to take this piece, add it to my game, take this piece, add it to my game? Um, a lot of people. Some, some of y'all would expect, some not. Floyd, Andre Ward, uh, Roy Jones. Uh, I like Meldrick Taylor. I like Terry Norris. I like um, Roberto Duran. I stole some of his stuff. <sighs> James Tony is like way up there for me. And recently, y'all seen a video come out of me and James Tony. I saw that. It's an interview. Man, if y'all didn't get the smallest piece of picture and run with it, 
We had done. We first off, me and James already know each other, and Otis, his brother, me and him, and our whole team are super cool. And we had done seen each other and hugged each other and stared each other down. And Jordan Dunn got pictures with him, and they did a stare down. And he done shown us some stuff, and he was asking about a video of mine that I was that I had brought up, and then he asked about another video I was bringing up, and people just thought I was on my phone while he was trying to. So I'm hoping I'm able to clear that up that, you know, not that I owe that to anybody, but, you know, I would never do that disrespect. So I was raised better than that, you know what I'm saying? So that was just a small glimpse that you guys got. But just clearing the air on that. What can you get better at? You talked about all the things that you're really good at. We, we see it. We see the improvement. But what can you get better at? What you want, what you want to get um, I think it's important to sharpen all your tools, even the ones that you already maybe already be your forte. So, um We've been working on a lot of things, a lot of new things you guys haven't seen from me yet, or things that you have seen, but it's, it's going to be a night and day difference. Um, and as I keep saying, if you tune in July 20th, free on Fox, you will see. What keeps you hungry? What, what makes you grind yeah. every day to get out the silk sheets to get in here and put this work? What keeps you hungry? Because I have to win. This is the last or I don't question. get to go yeah. home, because then I have no home. So... Either I win or I don't get to go home because I won't have no home. I don't need much else than that. So, what's the biggest thing you took from the Jose Uskakaji fight? Um, you know, for yourself. That world championship belt. I mean, if you. But uh, as far as what I learned, just um, I learned a lot of things in that fight. In a twelve-round fight with that much action against someone in, on that level, there's so many things that you can learn. It'd be hard to even break it down for all y'all. And some things are big, and some things are so minuscule and small and subtle that. You know, it may be hard for some, you know, most people to even understand. But just, um, you know, just staying relaxed. Uh, I believe in my punching power. I believe in my boxing ability, my IQ. And, uh, yeah, it's just, it, it was a great experience for me. So. Was that the game plan to catch him in between? Catch him in between? Because you, you caught him with the left hook when he was throwing it. Uh, or, 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 I knew or, I was or, faster or, than him, and I beat him to a punch. So okay. that's a... Uh, that's not just for him, that's for most people, so. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank